Yes. Sort of well. And the bag is locked in place, so it's not going to like wander off like we've had in the past. I can unlock Just, it. Wait, can I? I don't think you can. Think... Oh, you... Uh... Give me server privileges, dang it! <laughs> no! <laughs> That's... I didn't want to deal I with that. I spawn some trolls! <laughs> um, you also can, if you the hold most down... The definition of trolling you could possibly have. Um, right, so, game-wise, are there any genres? Again, not really rules. Uh, table rules you guys want? I don't even know what we're playing. Yeah, I don't know what it is. Just we're gonna tell the story collectively, if there's something you want in there, or something you oh, definitely okay. don't want. Uh, all right, all right, is this where the re recording's starting, or did that already happen? No, no, we're recording now. Like, I can okay. edit stuff later, but we are recording at the moment. All right. Let's give the most solid introduction because I don't know what this, this game is. This is a game playing RP or a, a storytelling RPG. Is that correct, Joseph? Sort of, but you don't really play roles. It's a it's a collaborative storytelling system game. All right. You're going to collectively tell a story using coins uh, as like an economy. The more coins you have, the more influence you can have over the story. Uh, it's and there's different ways to gain coins and essentially the sort of the core rule is that every time you want a fact you know something written down in stone you got to pay a coin okay uh, which is why right now we're just making ground rules for what sort of stories you want to tell does that account for like there is a character named bob and you're like yeah. oh well the character, character named bob has to be paid for yeah and then i could be like i overrule that and i bid two to make it so that the guy's name is eduardo this is true yes that's actually okay. exactly how that would go. I don't know what you'd really want to bid on the names too much, but yes. Uh, so, you, you, yeah, the coins sort of go like that. Um, and Al, if you want to contest that. Actually, if you guys can talk it out, you don't have to pay coins. Uh, I, I like, I'm just liking this genderless society we're already going to have to go with. Not gender. Nobody. That's not what I'm <laughs> No space, no sex. No sexual... It, it takes place no in a zero point... Area because there's no. No, space. it's like Minecraft. There's no sex in Minecraft. And there's no sex. Like everything's genderless. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, we could do a Minecraft story, Tony. <laughs> no, I, um, I bid against that. I don't know if you're bidding. Yeah. <laughs> I bid against Minecraft. <laughs> Everything is square. No, I'll bid five to make it all spheres and see how that works out. Um. Uh. Al, I have something that's gonna make you mad. Oh yeah? Yeah, I'm gonna go see Birdman. Oh, uh, you suck! <laughs> why is that gonna make Al mad? Because I can't he, see it. It's 165 he, miles away from me in Tallahassee, Florida. I don't even know Birdman <laughs> that's is. The closest one. What's Birdman? It, it's what a movie that I that? honestly think you would like. You should look up the trailer. Is, is it like Michael actually a, where he like a superhero? A, but a, no, no, a, he's a uh, he's a former superhero uh, actor. Right, and he wants to put on a Broadway show or off Broadway or something. He wants to make a musical play thing, and um, it's sort of meta because he's actually used to play a superhero. You get it, Joseph? Do you get it? Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, and uh, it's supposed to be really good. Yeah, like Emma Watson and all sorts of other stuff. Really? I never heard of it. Edward Norton, Michael Keaton. This is like this is all. I, I must listen to way too much movie talk podcasts, but. Yeah, I've heard way too much about Birdman already. And I cannot go to see it. It's like 98% on the tomato meter right now. Jesus, really? Yes, yeah, really. Looks incredible. All right, no more Birdman talk. Yes. <laughs> okay. Should you put that in the rules? No, no Birdman, Birdman talk. <laughs> yeah, I'll pay for that. Man, <laughs> Joseph's getting poorer by the second. All right, so uh, yep. I guess we should discuss like what kind of a setting we want to do it in. Yeah, that's certainly... I mean, these are all I, things you can... I bid for... Skinning. Um, ooh, this is tough. Interesting. I bid for um, science fantasy. <laughs> With no outer space. No outer space. No, like, you just can have, like... All right, I'm putting this in out there. Anybody want to contest that? Well, describe that a little bit more. Uh, so you can have, like... Uh, like, sci like, sort of like superhero movies where science does things it can't actually do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You sort of explain it with science. It I'm has to sound science-y. Yeah, so kind of like a Hitchhiker's Guide type Right, like scenario. Tesla coils yeah. can create an electric right. superhero. Yeah, okay. okay. I'm down with that. Um, Technically, because we agreed on that, does he have to bid? I, d I put a coin out. Okay. Well, see, the thing is, 
if it gets written down, it's sort of set in you know it's set in stone, which adds going forward starts to add uh, more weight and shape things. Right now, obviously, things are really nebulous. Um, if you have an idea for an opening scene, we can move along. Um, might be better to flesh out some idea where we want to go. I would like science fantasy. So Al went first, so it goes clockwise or yeah, counterclockwise? Yeah, clockwise. The three of us, though, I don't think that's going to be a huge problem, especially because yeah. at this point, it's if you have something, you can just go, I would imagine. Um, All right, so we need so a So we got to stop thinking about this as a game so much and start thinking about it as a storytelling venture in which we bid for things. Yes. All right. There is some gaming in it, but from the beginning, yes, there is more or less by facts. Uh, once we get past the prelim and start setting a scene, uh, there's a couple more rules I'll bring up, but uh, I, have, I want to... Uh, I want to animate a dinosaur. Does that fit in? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, is he, like, brought back from the dead, or can we yeah. get some details on this dinosaur? I'm just picturing... Uh, well, I'm picturing an opening scene. Should I just dive in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So these all go away. Those have been paid to the bank for these rules. All right. So technically, uh, this is where the fog of war comes in. To set a scene, you bid on whether or not... Uh, how many coins you want to... You know, bid to have the honor of setting the scene. I'm guessing since like, you guys don't even know how to do that, I'm probably going to win. Unless someone outbids me. Uh, wait, you guys are jingling coins. Are you actually taking it in and <laughs> Why out? Why would we not do that? Are you? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you said we could bid. You could definitely bid. Yeah, no, no, no. I just, uh. Well, let's let's get the scene. Where is the reanimated dinosaur? I don't know. That's that, not, no, no, that doesn't happen. Yeah, it hasn't happened yet because it hasn't been written down, Tony. Yeah. All right. Uh, the uh, sound I, of the coins. Yes. All right. Shall we show our hands? Yeah. I don't know how to do that. Well. You would just pick up your group of coins and throw them on the table. I got five. I also had five. Uh, I had two. Okay. <laughs> I just go clockwise from. I forget from someone. Uh, if I bidded, do I get to keep my coins if they don't like if I don't win or for bidding for the scene? Uh, you get your coins back if you lose, and then I get to use the coins on the table as part of my payment for the scene. Okay. So yes, you get those back. Assuming Wait, we just paid for this. B to uh, make the teaching better. All right, go ahead. Yes. You can have it. Go. I okay. concede. So I get my coins back. Yes. I put All right, back so the bag. they didn't go in my bag. Darn you! Talk of war. The bag is a little. Uh, yeah, it is. It's a mysterious bag. All right, so one coin is the setting. I'm is doing. Is there a name for this game? Universalis. Yeah, I've been... What? Universalis. Okay. That would have been good to know like 20 minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, the report. I don't know how that would have helped us, Tony. Yeah, I'm just <laughs> Oh, I did ask at the beginning of the video what this was called. I didn't hear you. <laughs> I'm, 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 like, I'm zoomed in on Joseph's giant face on the token. <laughs> it's like a, what did you say, young Brendan Fraser? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so Joseph's I'm looking. Scene. I'm looking through figurines now. You guys can banter. I'm trying to figure out a little oh. bit. Uh, Tony, how, how, how do you feel about Pearson Education? Uh, I feel that it sucks, and we've already done a podcast about that. But I really think that they would be impressed with my luxurious No Shave November beard so far. This is the best start to a beard I've ever had. I'm a little bit I'm disappointed that I didn't do No Shave November. I'm a little bit more dwarven than usual. Like, I didn't I, – I, I decided that it wasn't for me, and now I'm thinking, like, I wonder how much of a beard I could have by now if I wasn't. Plus, you'd be able to chronicle it with your blog. Oh, uh, that's true. Yeah, I'm I'm very much not doing No Shave November. Would that also be my head, or is it just my beard? Cause uh, we can see, like, how the male pot and baldness is going. Joseph has played a corner piece. Oh, because you mount Museum of Natural yeah. History. So setting, that's one coin for the set the setting in the Museum of Natural History. Uh, Actually, you're also going to add Dinosaur Wing. Throw that awesome. In. Apply. So I think, again, this is one plan I had. If you right-click, can you see the... Uh, whoops, I forgot to... Uh, I mouse over and I can see the title. I didn't realize I could do that at the time. 
Uh, if you right click, can you see the description? Yeah. Yes. Dinosaur yeah, yeah, yeah. wing. Dinosaur yeah, wing. Okay. All right. All right. That's good. So I can throw out little walls and stuff. We have. I don't know what this guy's name will be. Demetrius. Demetrius. Who's bidding for that? <laughs> now this is all me. Okay. So while you're setting a scene, not that I've explained how to do this, but you cannot interrupt me. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> I thought you said the not with, not with speech, but with an actual game. Like, interruptions are a game mechanic. Oh, okay. While the scene is being set, interruptions aren't allowed. Um, Demetrius. Uh, red cloak. That's going to be a point. I contributed. I found out today that I get to work from uh, 11 to 8 on Thanksgiving, so... Yay. That is some... That's some bullcrap. Yep. I'm not gonna lie. Yep. Walmart, that's, uh, that's a thing. At least they'll feed you, maybe? Yeah, we'll get, like, some cold cuts or something. Are you gonna have to work Black Friday, too? Probably. My Man. days off are generally Tuesday and Sunday. That's why I'm off right now, because it's a Tuesday. Joseph's just throwing coins on the table. I'm going to keep these away from the general. He's making it hail. Making it hail. <laughs> and, oh, and I need... Hmm. I mean, you know, we've all wanted to walk into a strip club with a bag of Sacage Away <laughs> dollars and just start throwing them. <laughs> Like a roll of quarters. <laughs> no, you got to be classy. You got to go like you got to go the gold cords. You got to go like the presidential dollars, Sacagawea dollars, things like that. Uh, and off the table. Oh, there's a guy. Well, who's that? Is that our dinosaur? <laughs> That's our dinosaur skeleton currently. Make him big enough. Make can, oh you you can only person can make him bigger. There we go. He's a dinosaur. Joseph. He's walking, which is not supposed to be happening, but that's fine. That's a much scarier dinosaur than me. <laughs> I can't argue. Can you imagine that, that, like hide. That's uh, imagine that's what our Here, like. No, we a, find fossils of guys like that. We just find <laughs> dinosaurs holding giant hammers and things. Oh, and that'd be awesome. That would be amazing. I'm. At, can I bid to make that the truth for this story? Uh, like, uh, the dinosaurs that we used him. to. Hey, we just went over that rule. Scene number one. Let's see what happens if we run out of note, notepad room. Uh, and it's night and stormy. Shit, I gotta add another call. <laughs> Is it dark? Is it a dark and stormy night, Joseph? <laughs> Is there people? Uh, yes. There people out there? <laughs> are, yes. Are we seriously starting our story with it was a dark, dark and stormy night? <laughs> yes, we are. And by we, I mean you? History with Demetrius, the cult leader, and three cultists, and the dinosaur skeleton. All right, awesome. Now that I'm done setting the scene, anyone can interrupt for a coin and take over. Okay. Um, now, I'm going to be a little phase fuzzy on how exactly this works. But basically, you got to pay a coin for things to happen. You can introduce components um, for a coin. You can add traits for a coin. Uh, traits are pretty important. I'll explain that later, though. Uh, so the story's... Uh, uh, I'm going to log here. If no one has any idea where this could, if you have no idea where this could possibly go, I'm I would be shocked. Okay. <laughs> this uh. all take place. There's a lot this could go into. Um, if no one interrupts, the play just passes clockwise. When I say I'm done, and I so I hand over my beautiful mug to Tony, and he can start throwing in coins and adding details and dictating things. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is make it so that the dinosaurs are actually not just senseless giant lizard types. And I know they're not lizards. I know. I know, Al. I can hear, the, I can hear it now. I'm not the guy, all right? Uh, Braley's not here. <laughs> Braley will have a cow if you call him a lizard. You will have I'm a bovine to... mammal. <laughs> Clean up my coins first, Tony. I'm going to say that the... Lizard men they're finding were actually a much more intelligent species, possibly not quite like technology in the sense that we have it, but they were able to use weapons such as wait, wait, the so hammer that our little one. That's part of why they're being brought back. All right, I'll, all right, I'll, hang I'll, on. You I'll, have I'll, one I'll, coin in your hand, <laughs> Al. That's a great question, and that's maybe where the story's going. Okay. All right. Now Tony is just adding a trait to this dinosaur. Yeah, I'm making it so it's more of a race of lizard men than dinosaurs. They still look like dinosaurs, though, right? Despite the fact that yes. they're lizard men on the table. Yeah, you can they have a triceratops. They might have more, like, bigger arms or something. That, but yeah, you can have, like, a triceratops that's using, like, a blunt force instrument or armor or things like that. Now, I, I could introduce a, a, 
concept here. It's telling me, let me see if you, you uh, pick up what I'm throwing down. You can create uh, templates. So you could pay a coin to create the template of Lizard Man and then add traits to Lizard Man. So you could say Lizard Man are intelligent, they have uh, weapons and whatever. And then whenever you bring in a new character, all you have to do is apply Lizard Man to that, and he gets all of those traits. All right, I'd like to buy a template. Okay. I have no idea where to write this. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to put this guy over here. This is the template corner. I think people in general could just keep up with, like, what we're saying. I mean, they, they're going to... I think it's going to get more complicated. Uh, okay. And I want to make sure, you know, in case... I want to experiment with this one. I understand okay. what you're saying. Basically, right now, we have five things going on, but, you know... In uh, an hour of, like, the race of lizard men and his love interest and chasing down, like, a rocket boat through the... You know, it could go anywhere. <laughs> I need to get a sense of how much needs to be, needs to be written down. Uh, All right, so the lizard men are somewhat intelligent, can use weapons. I've died off in pretty much the same timeline as, like, dinosaurs in our realm, like, 65 million years ago. And you said they're, they have all the variations of... They can, there's, like, normal Triceratops, normal T-Rexes, normal everything. But somehow they they're, like, have prehensile hands and could maybe... Yeah, well, there's... Right. I'm going to say that there's two races. There's, like, the, the lizard men that are pack animals and then the normal, like, dinosaurs. Okay. Okay, so... That is one, two, three, four, five. Five coins. All right, here's number five. Now this template's up here. And then we can apply the trait of lizard man to this guy. Whoa, wait, it already did it. What the fuck? Did Tony it's do it? learning! No, I didn't. That's a little weird. Okay, I guess because it's named... Whoa, it is learning. <laughs> what? I don't know. Wait. The templates crossed over into... That's really... You guys are witnessing what Elon Musk was talking about. This is when... <laughs> I'm going to name this... This is when the machine wakes up. <laughs> it's whenever it decides <laughs> to come back. It's, it's playing... The tipping point. Yeah, it's, it's playing the game with us.